Assalamualaikum everyone My name is Nurul Amin Farhana Binti Mokta I am from group 4 F1 okay, So for ECG 263 Soil Engineering Laboratory Students are needed to conduct a few numbers of soil experiment As one of the assessment for this semester And the mini projects include the water content Particle density Field density Particle size grading And also the permeability test Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to show you all the apparatus used, the procedure needed, and also the testing. And I have a test, and including the results and also the conclusion in the video. Okay, so let's enjoy the video. Okay. Firstly, we have to prepare all the apparatus and material needed in the water content test. So these are the apparatus and materials. Then we have to record the mass of the tray which is 246 gram and then 1.5 kilogram soil sample is prepared and then the mass of the tray plus soil sample is recorded after that the soil is sprayed evenly in the tray so I'm preparing the tree sample of soil and next the soil is exposed for the air drying process for one whole day overnight. Last but not least, the mass of the dry soil plus the tree is recorded, which is I got 1405 gram. In order to obtain the value of the water content, the water content can be found by the ratio of the weight of water to the weight of the solids in a given mass of soil. This ratio is usually expressed as percentage. The table show all the data collected during the testing session. For the calculation part, firstly we have to obtain the mass of water by subtracting M2 with M3. And then the dry soil is obtained by subtracting the value of M3 with M1. And then the water content is determined by dividing the mass of water with the mass of dry soil and multiply with 100% and lastly the average of water content is calculated to ensure the data is more accurate all the apparatus and materials for the particle density test is prepared these are the apparatus and materials needed in the particle density test firstly we have to record the empty container weight which is 42 gram Next, the empty container is filled with dry soil about 150 gram and the mass is recorded. Then this is the mass of the container and dry soil. The container is filled with water up until the top and stir well to avoid the air bubbles. And the mass is recorded. Then the mass of container filled with water up until the top is recorded. This is the process of preparing the other sample. With same procedures and apparatus. The table showed all the data collected from the previous testing session. We have to calculate the soil particle density value by dividing the mass of dry soil used with the mass of water to fill container minus the mass of water used. Lastly, the average of particle density is calculated for a better and more accurate result. All the apparatus and materials needed in the particle size grading and texture is prepared. And then three numbers of sieve is prepared with the opening size of 50mm, 5mm and 1mm. The tray mass is recorded, 1.5 kg soil sample is prepared and sprayed evenly in a tray. And then the soil sample will be exposed for air drying process. The mass of dry soil and tray is recorded. After the tray and dry soil mass is recorded, the soil sample will be sieved with different size of sieve opening size 
first the 15 millimeter size and then the process is proceed into the 5 millimeter size of tip opening And the last one, the 1mm opening size of the seed. The mass of soil retained on each sieve is recorded for the 50mm sieve. 5 mm sieve and the last one is 1 mm sieve. The table show all the data collected from the testing session. Based on the data, we can obtain the value of percentage retained, cumulative percentage passing and also the soil passing for 1 mm sieve. Field density test, all the apparatus and material needed is prepared. This is the location for the field density test conducted. Firstly, we have to record the mass of the steel container and then start to knock the steel container into the ground to get the soil sample. After that, we have to dig around the steel container area to get the steel container out from the ground. Mass of steel container and soil is recorded. Next, the mass of the tray also recorded. The soil sample in the steel container is transfer onto the metal tray for drying purpose and then the weight of the soil and tray is recorded. After that, the soil will be dry for a whole day. And then after drying process, the mass of tray and dry soil is recorded. The table show all the data collected from the testing session. The value of bulk density is obtained by dividing the weight of bulk soil with the volume of container used. The second table shown the calculation for the water content, dry density and also the average of dry density by using the collected data. The value of dry density is obtained by dividing the bulk density with the 1 plus water content. Last but not least, the average of dry density is calculated for a more accurate result. For the permeability test, we have to prepare all the apparatus and material needed in this test. Firstly, we have to drill a few numbers of holes in the bottom side of the bottles. The bottle is marked as H1, H2 and H3. Also, the H4 indicates the water level. After that, the empty bottle is fill with soil sample and then it is stamped with a metal pack several times. The bottle is filled with water up to the top and leave for a while until the soil is fully saturated. And then the stopwatch is prepared. Then the water is top up up until the H1 mark. And then the time for the water to reach H1 to H2, H2 to H3 and H3 to H4 is observed and recorded. So the same procedure is repeated for the other samples and the data is recorded.
the table shows all the data collected from the previous testing session. Students need to calculate the coefficient of permeability by using the given formula and also the data collected. Last but not least, overall average coefficient of permeability of soil sample is calculated for a better and more accurate result.